Shalom, call Akim. I'm going to start by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Yahweh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who've taught us this truth, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the uh, whole earth preaching this truth in sincerity. Okay? Um, we're just going to go through the Spirit, bring out some precepts um, on, on the on the great day that's coming, okay? This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 13. It says, Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is, okay? So the, the time that's coming is going to be for real, all right? That true fire is going to come and it's going to prove every man. And whether you're really part of this thing or if you're faking the funk. Okay? Right. Right. Because the scriptures say in Sirach 2 and 5, it says, For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. It's the acceptable men that we're, that that's going to be uh, shown when that fire ceases. You know? When that fire is done with, we're going to see who the acceptable men are. You know, and uh, the brother got. What scripture was that? That was uh, so I two and five. But this is uh, Second Ezra sixteen and seventy three. It says, "Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire." So, can you go off a couple verses in there? Yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah, pretty much. You know, pretty yeah. much. People can fake the funk. You know, people can act like they Israel now, but when um when the real trials start, you know, when the real trials start, it's gonna it's gonna see who who really is about this truth, who really are the men of the Lord, which is the Israel, the Most High, the elect. You know, so once once when, when that great day comes, we are gonna see who's who, man. You know, as the brother just read in the scripture. <clears throat> Go ahead. This uh, Second Ezra sixteen and seventy one. It says, "They shall be like madmen, sparing none." But still spoiling and destroying those that fed Yahweh. Come. Right. Keep going. That, that's going into the day that we're talking about. You know, when Esau comes down like a madman, he's going to um, come up, come upon Israel. You know, those that believe in the Heavenly Father. Okay. Right. That's Jacob's trouble, man. When uh, the devil should come down on us with great wrath because he know that he has but a short time. You know, <laughs> hey, that's when he gonna really be pushing his decrees. You know, if you ain't doing what he say, he gonna he gonna threaten you with death. You know, that's what's gonna happen, man. And he's gonna see you gonna give in or not. You gonna give in to to the the uh, power that you see in the flesh, or you gonna keep keep it spiritual and know that the true power who controls everything is, is the heavenly Father. You know, keep going now. God, it's a uh, verse verse seventy two. It says, "For they shall waste and take away their goods." And cast them out of their houses. Okay. Th then shall they be known. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. That's right. Exactly. You know, it went into more. The next scripture went into more detail of what's going on when hell breaks loose. And then it says, "Then it shall be known who are my chosen." Okay. Can a brother can you get Isaiah sixty six? Uh, verse uh, 15, 66 and 15, 66, 65, and verse uh, 11, sorry, verse 11, 65, verse 11. Huh. This is Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 11. It says, but ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that truth, and, for, and that furnish the drink, the drink offering unto that number. Keep going. Verse 12. Oh, verse, tw verse 12. It says, therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because, because when I called... Ye did not answer when I speak. Ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose 
that wherein I delighted not. Okay, so, you know, that's going into those that reject the truth. But those that's um, amongst the body right now that's faking the funk, you're, you're going to receive the same judgment as them. Okay, keep going. Uh, verse, 13. Verse, verse 13, it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall, shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Come on. So that's the contrast. You're going to know who are the chosen in that day, because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to watch over them. They're going to, the Lord is going to protect them. And those that are catching all types of hell when all hell breaks loose and that are folding, uh, those, uh, those are the ones that have been faking a funk the whole time. Those are the ones that's not part of the elect. Okay, right. They're not that, that uh, pure gold that's going to make it through the fire. Okay? Okay, quick precept. It's in Malachi 3, verse 2. It says, But who may abide me. But who may abide the day of his coming, and who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a soap, for he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. And, she, and he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify them, and he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto Yahweh an offering in righteousness. Right, which is talking about that day, as the brother was going into, talking about that day, you know, and, and, he, and, he, that, and the, the man is talking about Yahweh shot, you know. He said, so who's going to be able to buy in that day? That's the question. You know, scripture also says, shall he find faith on the earth? <laughs> you know, and are, and are them men going to keep the faith in them, in them days, man? You know, we're going to see. You know, we, we pray that we are them men, you know, but that's what we're doing in these times now, and build up that faith so we can... Be able to last. Uh, th that we shall be able to stand in that day, man. You know? Um, go ahead. I'm going to get the one in Revelation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, kind of. Because pretty much we want to strive to be like Job. You know? Because what Job did, he trusted. He, he trusted. Man, I'm going to get it. Uh, Proverbs 3 and 5. It says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. And all, in all thy ways acknowledge him. And and he shall direct thy paths, and that's what uh, Job did. Job had uh, he had the abundance of a lot, and it was all taken from him. And he and he still withstood all his trouble, his adversity, which was the fire. And this is what he said. Uh, this is Job twenty three and ten. It says, "But he knoweth the way that I take. When he have tried me, I shall come forth as gold." You see. He came forth as gold. So when you when you uh, put fire to gold, and uh, like why do you put fire to gold? It's to see if that gold was real or not. Is if it was really gold or not. You know, you uh, uh, the Most High put that fire into Job, and he came Friends. forth as true gold. Yeah. And that's what we want to be. When that fire truly get put upon us, we want to be. We want to come forth as gold. We don't want to be like those men that's that's going to that Yahweh Shah is going to come and expose. You know that's why you got to trust in the Lord with all our heart and acknowledge Him, and He's going to direct our path so that we become that gold. Come, on. Do you, do you uh, one brothers whoever gets it first, Sirach twelve. I got that. Yeah. You get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Uh -huh. Which uh, where's one starting? Verse uh, eight. This is, uh, this is Sirach, uh, chapter 12, verse 8. It says, A friend cannot be known in prosperity, and an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. Read that again one more time. Uh, yeah, this is Sirach, chapter 12, verse 8. A friend cannot be known in, pro in prosperity, and an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. Come on, that's right. So technically, we're in a time of prosperity right now. All hell hasn't broken loose yet. 
All right. So um, the, the the people that are, the men of the Lord that are really down for Yahweh Bashin Yahshah, it hasn't been manifested yet. And it says an enemy cannot be head in adversity. So if you're truly not part of the elect, when all hell breaks loose, you're going to be found out. You're going to be revealed. Okay. Get the one of Proverbs. Yeah. yeah, this is Proverbs 24, verse 10. It says, If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. You know, and that goes into your faith. You know, because your faith really going to be your strength in that day. You should say wisdom, um, wisdom, um, knowledge. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time. You know, so you have, if you if you faint during that time, then your, your faith was small, man. You know? And then therefore what? <laughs> if you faint, Hey, Sirach 2 and 13, it says, Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore, he shall not be defended. Right. You know, he ain't going to come forth his gold, you know? Yeah, because the Heavenly Father only defending his elect. And if you fainting, then obviously you wasn't the elect. You ain't had that faith. He ain't give you the spirit, you know? The Lord ain't give you the most high, ain't give you the spirit. You want, uh, eight, uh, six, yeah, yeah. It's a rock six and eight. It says, For some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. Go on. Right. The Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father pretty much making us friends to the Lord. Because he's going to save his friends. Pretty much. Excuse me. The elect are friends of the Lord. You know? The ones that's nigh unto him. You know? And then read that again. Uh, it's a rock six and eight. It says, for some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. Yeah, some men friends for their own occasion. They faking like they somebody's friends, man. You know? Because like, they think this Israel thing is a fad right now. Mm -hmm. You know? So they trying to fake the funk and be about Israel. But hey, when that day come, you know, <laughs> you ain't going to be a friend when that when adversity come, man. Cool. You know? Because you don't truly believe in the Lord. You don't have the faith in the Lord. Cool. So when, when they test your faith, you know, you're going to give them up. Pretty much, you know. Read that next verse. Yeah, can't. Then we, uh, I'm gonna read it down in uh, Sirach chapter 12 and verse 9. It reads, "And in the prosperity of a man, enemies will be grieved." I hold it right there. In prosperity of a man, enemies will be grieved. So right now it's the time of prosperity. So the enemies of the Lord are not revealed right now. You know. Um, uh, so, for example, like if, if we had if we had money and stuff like that, everything like the brother said, some of y'all think this is a fad. You could come hang out with cool dudes and eat chicken and and drink wine and have a good time. So it says enemies will be greedy. Now re keep reading from that. Come. It says, but in his adversity, even a friend will depart. But in his adversity, even a friend will depart. So when that holy hell comes upon us, because it says we're going to be brought through the fire. It's going to, the, the, that's because that's not a real friend. The, the, the men that are faking the funk are going to depart. They're going to leave. Okay. All right. You can go. All right. <clears throat> Revelation. What do you want to grab first? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to bring out that one. I'm going to bring out first Corinthians. Call. I think it's four. Yes. First Corinthians four. This is first Corinthians four verse, uh, which one? I forget what scripture it was. 14? Uh, no, it was 5. Oh. No, I am in first one. What am I talking about? Oh, 4 and 5. I was looking all the way down here. 14 15. Alright, this is... um. <clears throat> this first group is 4 verse 5. It says, Therefore, judge nothing before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts and then shall every man have praise of the Most High. You know, pretty much because, hey, <laughs> it says um, in that time, in that time, you know, when the Lord comes, He's going to bring the, to, to light those things that was hidden. You know, so the things that's deep down in your heart, your true character, you know, your true character, oh, that brings up another scripture. That I thought of earlier. Yeah, the Lord knows the hearts of hearts. Yeah, yeah. You, the Lord knows your hearts of hearts, man. Your, your true character is going to be exposed. You know? It says what? It says, it says, um, and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts. And then shall every man have praise of 
the most high. So once he once he shed light on the real and the fake, you know, that's when the, the, the real gonna get that the, the praise, man. You know? Uh it was another one. It said uh friends. Yeah. It said prove it. Yeah, your brother brought it up. So yeah. two? No, no, no. That was uh Six. Sirach twenty seven. Oh, okay. Go it's Sirach 27 and 5. It says, The furnace proveth the potter's vessels. Oh. So the trial of man is in his reasoning. All right? So the furnace, you know, proves the potter's vessels. That's how you're going to be, you know, that's how you're going to, the, the scripture the brother started with, you know what, that's how you're going to know whether you go, you know, or whether you draw so, or wheat or chaff, man. You know? When you're getting put through that thing. And it says, So the trial of man is in his reasoning. So when them things happen, <clears throat> your reasoning, your mindset at that time is going to be exposed. Which, which are you truly, you real fake pretty much, you know? Yeah, yeah it's just Revelations 3 and 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that the world upon the earth. Right, the hour of temptation, that's going to be the ultimate trial. That's going to be the last uh, fire that's going to expose the fakes. Because right. the men that get through that trial are going to be the chosen men. All right, That mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, that's what's going to really reveal who are the true men of the Lord and who have been faking the funk the whole time. Right, right. The scriptures say, uh, 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 those who endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So you got to okay. endure to the end because this is going to come upon the whole earth, man. Yeah. Hey, if you're confusing the faces, don't think this ain't going to come upon you as well, man. Every man going to be happy because, hey, Esau, he wants everybody. You know, he wants everybody to be, uh, 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 he wants to be God, the most high, you know. So that, that trial is going to come upon everybody. So, you know, if you keep his word, man, if you stay faithful to him, then, then he's going to keep you from the hour of temptation. Right. You know, he's going to protect you in those days. But if you don't, you know. You was you, you was gonna be found out to be a, a phony man, you know, and you're not gonna be up to Israel the Most High. Right. Because that just proves you don't have faith in the Lord. Right. You know. And it's like the scripture in Proverbs say, you got trust in the Lord. Ultimately, that's that's how you gonna that's how you gonna be delivered. That's how you gonna uh, get through that fire. Is trusting in the Lord and acknowledging Him in all our ways, so He can direct your path through that thing. Because the straight gate gonna be hard. But you got to walk it, you know, or else you, you're not going to be found as gold. God. So with that, we're going to give all praises to your humble and by Hashem, Yahweh the Wadah to the Apostles and those of GMS, and Shalom to the whole full elect. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.